you guys good morning happy saturday i just randomly decided that i was gonna go home this weekend um just for like a night or two because we have bedlam this weekend and everyone's either there or at home so i was like might as well go home and have a little bit of a relaxing weekend because Sorry, there is something on my camera. I have a lot of homework to get done, and honestly, I would just rather be in my own bed. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pack really quick. And I was going to do a morning routine this morning, but it was Saturday, and I would rather do it on, like, a Monday or a Wednesday when I don't have class. And it's, like, actually during a weekday, so you could get, like, the actual morning routine. So, I think I'm going to film that probably this week or next week or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I just drove home really quick. It's not that long of a drive, which is nice. I think I'm gonna put some of my clothes in the laundry because I have a lot of laundry to do. I just wanna go ahead and put it in. And then I think I'm gonna go grab maybe like a sandwich and a coffee or something from this bakery close to my house. I haven't had it in so long. And one of my friends just came up to the city to get her hair done and she went to this bakery and I'm so excited because I've been like craving it ever since so I think I'm gonna do that maybe instead of a coffee I might get like an iced tea or something they have really good iced teas that they like brew themselves okay I just threw some of my laundry in really quick and then now I'm gonna go to the bakery place and I'm getting like a little bit um, shaky for my coffee. I feel like I've had that problem for some reason a lot with my Nespresso pods. I don't know if anyone else has dealt with this, but I like get super shaky from my espresso like little espresso pods. They're not like coffee. They're, it's like espresso, but it's only a single shot. And usually at Starbucks I get like, I'm pretty sure it comes with two shots and like a grande and stuff. And I feel like I don't get super shaky. So I don't, I don't know, but. I just finished eating my sandwich and oh my gosh, that was so good. It was called the hot turkey, I believe. And it had turkey obviously i think it was like provolone or pepper jack cheese some caramelized onions but i don't get it with that because i don't like caramelized onions and um trying to think what else like grilled jalapenos there was kind of a lot on them but it was still really good and then this chipotle mayo or i think it might have been like mayo and mustard oh my gosh it was delicious and now I think I'm gonna head to Anthropology really quick to see if they have any candles. The last thing I need is a new candle, but candles or like mugs or something or like something little to put in my room, on my dorm room because I feel like it needs some like Christmas holiday spirit. So I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, I just left Anthropology. I actually booked a massage for five tonight because I haven't gotten one in so long. I think I'm just gonna do like a 30 minute one because I'm meeting my grandparents for dinner tonight. I was gonna get like a facial, but then I was like, my skin doesn't really need it. So it's like, I don't need to be like getting a facial. I wanna go to the store a little bit before I go get my massage because I wanna bake like some cookies tonight I saw on I think it was this one girl that I follow on TikTok she made these sugar cookies and there was like nothing really like super special about them they just looked so good so I think I might want to do that tonight after dinner with my grandparents that just sounds so good okay I am back at my house I'm working on my English paper right now I really don't want to do it but I need to get it done and I know I'm gonna feel so much better thankfully it's just a rough draft so on top like I think there has to be like 2,000 words and I don't have to have all of it literally was the best massage I've ever gotten um I feel so relaxed right now do you ever get out of like a facial or like a massage or something and you just feel so zen like it's almost like you don't even want to talk. You feel like so just like peaceful and relaxed. Obviously like it's a splurge to be able to do that. What I was saying is it's like 
obviously a splurge to be able to do that but it makes you feel so good i was gonna do a holiday gift guide for like whatever holiday you celebrate and i was thinking about it. i was like that's such a good idea that i feel like some people just like forget to ask for but it's such a good gift is like a spa gift card or like a massage gift card or facial whatever now i'm gonna go to cost bar really quick because i'm already by the area and where i'm meeting my grandparents is kind of in the opposite direction so i just pulled the sugar cookies out of the oven some of them like crinkled and then some of them didn't so i don't really know why that happened but i'm gonna let these cool down and then i have to leave for dinner i'm supposed to meet them at 605 so I'm sorry, not 6.05, 6.15 and it's 6.05. So I need to leave, but I'm so excited to try these. They look so yummy. I just got back from dinner with my grandparents. I obviously didn't vlog. Hold on, I don't know where to sell y'all up. Um, I obviously didn't vlog just because I like wanted to spend time with them. But I think I'm gonna take a bath and I've been obsessed with Twilight. Right now I'm like going through all of the movies, so. I think I'm gonna take a bath and watch Twilight and then I need to wash my hair because in my massage they put oil in my hair so it's like super greasy and I just it's been like two days so I need to wash my hair. Dinner was really good. We went to this Mexican restaurant and I just got these enchiladas. They're like pulled chicken with this um, green chili like sauce like queso thing. Um, on top and it was so yummy so okay i have like eye patches on my eyes that's why it looks kind of weird but i just showered i'm actually gonna wash my hair tomorrow morning because i'm gonna be able to like blow dry it and everything and i'm just too lazy to do that tonight so i just took a bath and just took a body shower but i think i'm gonna watch the rest of the twilight movie and then probably just go to bed it's only 8 47 but i like love to be in bed early and just relax so good morning you guys happy sunday um i just got up a little bit ago i completely forgot that last night was daylight savings so we actually gained an hour so i was like kind of confused why i woke up earlier than i normally do i think i'm gonna go I was gonna go to Starbucks this morning, but I think I'm gonna go to Dunkin' because that sounds really good. Also, um, I show this in my Sephora haul. I've been using it for, maybe it's been a week, maybe it's been a little, little bit longer. Um, and I really, really like it. I know technically you're supposed to give like skincare a two week like period to see if it actually works for your skin and whatever. But I mean like you can just see like how glowy it makes my skin look and i feel like the more i use it the better my skin is reacting to it because at first it kind of just sat on my skin i felt like but now it really like absorbs into my skin i don't have a lot that i have to do today i'm going back to my dorm later today which i'm sad about to be honest because i just want to like stay at my house i was also sleeping last night and I was like, why is it so hot? And usually I don't like it being super cold at night. So for me to say it's hot means it's like actually hot. And I forgot to turn the cooling thing down on my thermostat. And it was 76 this morning. Like it was so hot in my room. Okay, I just got my coffee. But I'm so excited for... sure this isn't what i ordered but that's okay um yeah i'm not sure what that is hopefully it'll still be yummy but i'm gonna finish up my laundry and do some more homework when i get home i can't wait till thanksgiving break so i can have like a week off of homework okay, i just wanted to come on here really quick and show you guys the sunglasses that i got from vela this is a company that i've been wearing for like multiple years and i always get so many compliments on these sunglasses they are the best quality sunglasses and they always are coming out with new styles first the case that they come in is so versatile because not only can you obviously carry your sunglasses in them but when I travel, I carry like my jewelry and stuff. 
The first pair that I got is the Bowie style in gold and graphite and I love these lenses because they're a little bit transparent and the detailing, the tortoise detailing on the side is so cute. I just love the way that they fit my face because I always have such a hard time finding sunglasses that fit my face. I just feel like they're either too big or they're too small or they just like sit funny. And what I love about these is I could literally wear them with this sweatsuit and they look so adorable. Or I could wear them with like a cute sundress in the summer. These are like one of my favorite styles. The second pair that I got is the Dixie style and this is in the black and toffee color. I love the lenses and I love how they're a little bit transparent. And then the frames are black and they're super super sturdy and again you can wear these with anything you can wear them with like jeans and a cute sweater or you can wear them on your way to your workout class they're so cute i'll link these sunglasses down below for you guys and this is something perfect for christmas that you can ask for or you can give i feel like you can't go wrong with sunglasses Okay, I've just been working on my laptop. I've been doing some homework to figure out some stuff for like my holiday gift guide in my storefront, but I didn't know if I should do a section that's a holiday gift guide on my Amazon or if I should just do it like on a Google Doc or something because I don't know if as many people will see it if it's on my Amazon. Thinking I should just do it on like a Google Doc. I'm so stressed about this week just with schoolwork and stuff, but also I picked off all my nails which is so bad but that when I get really stressed out that's what I do which I'm so mad at myself for doing that I think I'm getting my nails done this Friday because we have our date party for my sorority on like the 17th I think I want to have my nails done for that and it was just easiest for me to do it on Friday so I'm gonna have to come back up to the city okay I just left Trader Joe's and I've literally been wanting to try these for years. They're the crunchy curls. I think Brienne, the one on TikTok, or Bria, but she was the one who like made these, not famous, but kind of like popular. They're always sold out at my Trader Joe's. I'm very curious to see, ooh. why these are just like not what I thought they were gonna taste like for some reason I thought they were gonna taste like cheese like I don't know why I was thinking that I like how crunchy they are and like the texture but I thought they were gonna taste a little different for some reason okay from Trader Joe's for dinner tonight I got the vegetable fried rice this is so good and it's so easy to make I just use like a saucepan and then just follow the instructions on the back of the package I usually would add like coconut aminos to it um, but I don't have any and I forgot to pick some up. So that's okay. But I'm going to have this for dinner. And then obviously I got the crunchy curls. And I got a few treats. I got this English toffee. I'm obsessed with toffee for some reason. These yogurt pretzels. If you've never had these. I don't know what it is about these specific ones. They're so 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 good i'm going to end off the video here i'm just gonna do some more school work and then get ready for bed tonight i'm gonna stay at my house again so i'm not doing really anything eventful but thank you so much for watching and i hope everyone has a great week see you next time bye